Yes, sir. They are joining, sir. He is joining? They are joining. Yes, sir. They are joining. Okay. So, last in the last session, what we were doing? We were doing a comparison on the... Yes, sir. Uh, Magnil and... Yeah, yes, contact analysis, right? Yes, sir. So, that was not successful. Yes, sir. Okay. So... Okay, I'll take some other parts so that people get more relevant on that. And I hope you guys are working on the files which I have sent already, right? Uh, report. Yes, report making and yes, other sir. things yes, sir. okay okay so prior to that Okay, that's good then. I'll show you one thing, you guys, that doing the two parts at CATIA, two different parts, and show you the contacts, how the contacts work. Sorry. So initially I'll take the parts. Get. And then consider one geometry. Any size, I don't consider the perfect size or anything. And then take the padding of that. Okay, so I'll take it as 50 so that it perfectly looks as a square, square table. <clears throat> Now on the same thing, I'll take one more geometry on the face and I'll create same thing, the same similar extrusion on the other side, reverse direction. Okay. So now you can see that there are two components. I'll save these files. Save as .stp or IGS. Let's go new folder. Now these two parts has been saved. So now what I'll do? Take two modal analysis and a static structure. Okay, so first I'll keep the material as same structure steel. Next, I'll take geometry, right click, import geometry, browse, I go to the folder where you have kept the file. So come by. So now geometry has been updated, now open for mechanical editor.
So now you can see the geometry two geometry two faces, but the connection is there, but which is not applied or not connected because the gap is too much. You can see the gap. So for that, the connection has not been established. So first we'll see that the parts are there with the material applied as structure steel. Okay. And the second, there is no connection. So I'll keep as it is. Next is mesh. I'll update the mesh. Then it default mesh. I'm taking just default to understand how the behavior of the model will take place. Okay. The next is analysis setting. I'll take the mode shapes as 15. 15 mode shapes I'm considering and requesting the output as deformation. Okay, so now first is free free analysis and just rename it. Okay, for that, solve. Okay, now you can see the table that there are 12 free okay. frequency equal to zero. Equal to near to zero. Okay, but it should be only six, right? But there are two components which are not connected. So it is showing as 12 as zero. Okay, so now when we go to deformation and look into the parameters, all the parameters. Okay. Okay, now you can see that. Now you can see there are two parts with the different phenomena. Yes, so one part is up. Now the second part is falling down. Now for the same thing, if I import or insert a contact, manual contact region, select the surface. Select the target. Okay. And bonded, a type is bonded or you can change any of the methods you want. Okay, so then now solve for the same thing. And what I'll do, I'll delete the result again. And insert deformation, total deformation. Now you can see the seventh mode as positive values. You can see, right? The first six as yes, sir. 
zero. So this is difference, or you can say that <clears throat> this is one type of <clears throat> just a second. Okay, now you can see this, right? The same, similarly, when I remove this, or now I will show you the suppress, there are two independent bodies. Same thing, when I remove that, there are two independent bodies. When I apply the contact, it behaves as one independent body. Right, 12 are equal to 0, 13 has a positive value. When the same contact has been generated, your results are different. Okay, so that is the reason what we say typically. Now this is as one body. For the same thing, two plates applying a frequency, natural frequency, I'll consider again the same thing. For 12 frequencies or 10 frequencies and call an output for deformation. So, so you'll get an actual frequency list. Okay. Now I can see the natural, oh sorry, no bonded condition, right? Sorry again. So insert fix support, either of one you need to arrest it and solve. Okay, now you can see your natural frequency is 765.49. So similarly, apply a load. I'll take the same boundary condition to the static structure. Okay, and then apply a load of pressure, force, anything. Okay, apply a load, taking a coordinate system in any direction, which direction I'll consider as Z direction as above, or you can consider this way as a below load and solve for deformation, stresses, and even you can calculate your RF, safety factor, okay? So right click, solve. Now the same thing, you got a value, right? One more thing, yes or no, you got the result or not? 
Yes, sir. So if the stresses are 38 and factor of safety is more than 15. Same thing, what if I remove this contact between these two plate and apply a load and a boundary condition on each plate, whether my problem will solve or not. I have removed the contact. Initially, when I done a free free without contact, I got 12 mode shapes. That is 12 zero in the sense two independent bodies. And same similarly, I created a uh, created a contact and then solved it. I got six uh, six rigid modes in the sense one one assembly one body complete one bo assembled body. Okay, and now. I, I have solved the con uh, with contact and I got a stresses around 38, applying a load of 1000 on the other end and constraining the constraining on the other end, as same similar as a cantilever beam with a stepped cantilever beam. Okay. But now I have removed a contact, whether my problem will solve or not. If yes, why? If no, why? Hmm? Any other? Yes, sir. So, I'm going to so, why? Yes, sir. And you will get the same result or change? No, sir. Different results. Different results. Different result. Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see then. Right click. Solve. Your problem will not solve. It gives an error because any body there should be attending an equilibrium right force is equal to mass into acceleration or f is equal to k into x so to attend an equilibrium there should be a contact between them that means you have applied a load but there is no constraint on this body right well, but you are constrained here, but there is no contact between these two. Then how do you expect your load? Like here to play it either, sir. Male gada. Wonder male on do. Wonder end really bolted nut madi dira. In on really constrained mad god attached madi dira. One kada load akki dira. So your load has passed. Now the same second condition. Two plates are there. There is no contact in between or bolted in the between. And you are applying a load on the other side. What happens? The upper part, or the upper part which has a load, will fall down, right? It will not be stressed because there is no reaction on that, no constraint at all. So it will not attain an equilibrium. So for that, typically we call the solution or the problem is <clears throat> we call it as a, a pure matrix kill error. Pure matrix kill error in the sense forming a singularity of a matrix without solution, it forms a singularity. So that gives an error, singularity error, we call it as. Okay. So now the, for the same thing, if I keep a bonded contact or any type of a contact, that means two plates are attached now. It become one body now. Then you got a solution for that. Yes, understood. Same similarly. Yes, same similarly. Now, sorry. What I'll do, I'll just save this. Now, I'll show you one more problem over this. That is optimization. Now you can see your geometry or your project folder has been updated on the solutions of thing has been done. You might have heard the one more uh, thing is optimization. Have you heard? 
optimized body yes 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 so typically optimization is major uh, thing in your design and scope so major role of an uh, fe engineer or ca engineer is also one of a type is optimizing optimizing in the sense doing a proper design with limited load and have a feasible uh, withstanding or what we call as uh, i can even say less material aesthetic wise good and also there is no change in the strength okay now for the same material i am getting above 15 as my factor of safety yes my less factor is only on the this part but the other parts i don't require at all but due to the structure i require the outer body for that where should i in general this is a simple problem it is a sanna problem irandrinda namugu gottu hollow tube use madabodalla sir athwa hollow ill andre thickness estimate idabodu anta calculation madabodalla this is a simple one you can directly say that you can use an hollow or you can use some thickness grade or you can use l shape one sided bracket to attach for some kind of suggestions but when it is complex your entire geometry is complex how do you optimize so there is one one tool called as topology optimization so it takes a result from your structure solution that is your static structure that it might be linear or non linear anything so from there it will analyze on what basis it takes a number of iterations okay optimize re, optimization region where you require to optimize your body either you select both or entire all bodies okay and objective this is very important so what is your objective it is happening this way today Uh, okay. Objective is suppressed. Now I'll make yes for this objective and response constraint. Uh, no, no objective. I need to suppress it. Now the response constraint. Response constraint in the sense, how much percentage of your present geometry need to be optimized or the geometry need to be optimized. Considering fifty percent as a mass, or considering volume, or global bond mass stresses, on the stress basis, what is a maximum stress? It should not be there. So maximum stress it should not be there. I'll take one twenty MPa. Okay, so that is what topology optimization. So result, I'll take topology density or topology elemental density. so density would be correct now right click solve so automatically from the result from your static structure result for that particular load case your software will optimize it and says where to remove the material and where to keep the material for that load case to optimize certain level okay for this it is not giving okay Optimization region and its settings response. Okay, I'll change that to global one versus two mass itself, and I'll take eighty percent of mass I require. Twenty percent of mass can be removed. Contact the base here. Be for us at load. Is there? Okay. One second. One second, guys. Vijay sir is calling me. Okay. And you, you people were saying they want to take a, a screenshot. You can take, right? Yeah. Who can take the screenshot of for uh, the total search? You and the uh, that you photo. You want the photo for.
Okay. So it is okay. There is a problem here. What is that? On the top layer, there is a contact. So for the optimization, I'll do one thing. I'll take the force. As a edge and do a optimization. Do a static structure and then do a <coughs> optimize. Mm -hmm. It's not getting for this. Let me check. So, however, you have understood this, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, we'll close this here and then we'll go for one more component which gives you proper analyzing of your topology optimization. Okay. So, that is, we'll take a static structure. Yeah. Topology optimization from the solution. I'll consider your engine bracket itself. Edit. Okay, now I'll consider just a boundary condition as a bolt or I'll update a generate mesh. One second. Insert. Force and consider these two lug and then consider the component. I'll just consider Z here. So, for the understanding purpose, okay. So, load is applied and make a constraint. Fix a port at the port region. So this is Four bolts has been fixed and then load has been applied and I'll call an output deformation. Also stresses. Let's solve for this problem. Now we got a deformation of 0 0.008 and stress has 15 MPa. Now what I'll do, I'll increase the load of this to one zero more that means it is linear one so it will be increased of 150 stresses and 0 0.06 0, 0, 006 was there and deformation will become 0 0.06 okay 0 0.8 and your stresses are 155 now for this i want to do an optimization settings as per no, as normal optimization region is entire thing Object is already given. Okay, response is fifty percent of the mass. So now what I'll do? I'll solve as a topology gen density topology in the sense based on the masses. Mm -hmm. Okay, fifty percent is not possible for this. So we'll reduce that. to 10% initially. 
and check the problem. Mm -hmm. mm, why it has not solved then? Mm -hmm. All the details are up here. volume hello sir. yes sir sir uh, report preview anta anta madidral sir adu pdf na download madkobodha sir hmm download madbodha but okay. only image barutte or ha idu ha idu download madbodha yes ha ah, you can you can do it but it is only uh, uh, like not the entire thing in gain beku antandre what is your source required data what all the data has been added to your answers it will show you yes. nothing else which will be helpful for to making make a report stress report are different yes sir okay so adu bere idu bere this shows the solution and other parts only that why the topology optimization is not working the last time clear i want it to Okay, for this, I'll do the same thing. Like support. Apply a load. and take the formation stresses solve it check the stresses as one not one okay response to 50% okay let us check with this this is a topology. 